Good morning, traders. This is the Daily Advocates. We'll keep you updated on what's happening in the Forex world today. So that way you don't, you know, fret too much or feel too much high anxiety. Either way, it is April 20, 420, guys. Keep it up. Um, so we're going to go over the calendar and we're going to take a look at some of the house board algorithmic models and see what they stand and what they're telling us um, first starting off we're gonna take a quick recap at what happened in the markets Bitcoin has crashed from its highs COVID has started to rally back up around the planet Wall Street has pulled back most stock markets are pulling back from their highs after setting all-time highs cobalt and lumber rallies if you trade currencies affected by those uh, instruments to be aware that uh, they will be bullish in the future um, so today's on the lookout we're looking at again global infections on the rise and house that's going to cause increased lockdowns going forward um, and affect supply chains most notably uh, areas like India which is going higher they are uh, affecting the oil market so keep an eye on that uh, China economy is on a rally US is sanctioning uh, Russia again something new here over Navalny and Ukraine things are getting ramped up there we're also expecting the Bank of Canada meeting tomorrow and um, we're watching them close they might begin a taper cycle in their QE system um, Israel also has a rate decision um, they're looking at the Iran talk so if you're trading the shekel do keep an eye on that um, another thing on the docket again it keeps repeating it's gonna be an event it's the COVID rising in India uh, we also have the ECB rates coming up on Thursday we're expecting them to hold we're expecting most central banks to hold their rates the Federal Reserve itself has said they're not doing nothing uh, to at least 2024. So expect things to continue as they are. Uh, and we also have the soccer uh, fiasco. How does this affect currencies? Well, it could affect supply chains. It could affect, uh, uh, you know, it could cause lockdowns if things get out of hand. Guys, people are very emotional about their football. Now. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, what we got, what we're looking for. We have some other things, but today we're going to keep it nice and simple. Now, we're going to also take a quick look at the house board models, which are our uh, algorithmic models and get them up for you. For that, we're going to step on over to the good old bucket shop. All right. So first up to back, let's take a quick gander at the trend following model. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, trend following systems, a lot of them rely on exponential moving averages. So if you are using a trend following model, um, you're using any kind of moving averages pretty much. But the ones we use here are exponential moving averages, most notably the 21 and the 55. We also use the 233 as a filter. And we're going to pop these on the one hour. And well, we have some, a lot of bullishness going on here. That's what we're looking at. The Antipodians, Aussie and Kiwi, bullish against the dollar. Uh, we might see a little pullback. We have a high swing. You can expect a swing down and a swing back up. Euro dollar also swinging down. Uh, pound dollar had a volatile pop yesterday. Pretty good. Looks strong. Uh, and it's also looking like it's going to swing down. So uh, the trend models are bullish. So we are keeping longs on deck for the trend models going forward uh, we are dollar bearish all right next up we're going to take a quick look at the deviation model <clears throat> excuse me i smoked too many cigars this forex life is going to kill me all right let's say all right looking at the deviation models we're definitely getting some deviation from uh from the median that we set here and uh, it's looking like we're set to go bullish so while these are going to be whistling short I myself will not be taking shorts on these boards until next week I need cross down but right now I see the upper bands they're starting to create the little bubble that pops up so we're expecting more bullishness deviation models are flat 
uh, no calls, no runs on these bad boys. All right. So that's what we got on the technical side. That's what we have on the fundamental side for you guys today on the docket. We will be trying to release one of these videos early, uh, pre London open as early as we can get you the most relevant data as we get it out. Oh, it goes in my Euro dollar trade. It's going down. Nice. All right. And um, thanks for tuning in. This is the Iron Abacus. I am the bell ringer trying to keep you informed and entertained. Have a good one, guys.